Welcome back everyone. So it's Men's Health Month and there is a push to encourage men to make those important health appointments. Get screened. Any needed treatments that you think are appropriate. Well, one couple is just thankful that they reached out for help. Eric Alves thought he'd never father his own child with his wife due to male infertility. But yesterday, on Father's Day, he celebrated his first one. <laughs> you have to take a step back and realize just how much of a miracle he really is. Let's go back two years. Eric and Brienne Alves were told it wasn't likely they could conceive a child. When you're told that there's a possibility that you don't have sperm, there's a possibility you're not going to have a child, um, you sort of feel um, the shame. It's here about, um, you know, shooting blanks or people joking about it. And I didn't know it was a real thing. Eric was diagnosed with azuspermia, a condition causing male infertility. They met with specialist and Cleveland Clinic urologist, Dr. Neil Perek, offered hope. All the studies and literature show that, you know, infertility is a couple's disease. 50% uh, of the time, there is male factor uh, involved in infertility. So it's not only the female side. After a year of testing and trying medications, the couple opted for a surgical solution called microtessie. They go into the testicles, they pull tissues, and then they will look under a microscope and hope to find sperm. While Eric was in surgery, Brienne underwent an egg retrieval down the hall. I was being wheeled over to go wait for Eric in the waiting room. Dr. Parekh actually stopped me in the hallway to tell me that they had found sperm. So it was a really really exciting time. Um, <laughs> I will never forget that moment. Four months later, an embryo was transferred into Brienne's uterus and then the best birthday gift Eric could imagine. I was hoping to be able to give him a positive test for a gift and it worked out. We realized you know, what we were dreaming of was going to happen. Their baby boy Noah is now seven months old. They say he's an easy baby, but admit bringing him into the world wasn't. I will be the first to tell you that it's not easy, but I will also be the first to tell you that it's worth it, 100% worth it. The journey seems long and it's going to be a while. You know, don't give up. I would do it all over again um, if I meant to have my son. See the way that boy was looking at his daddy? Uh, you can see it is all worth it. So Dr. Parrick says, in general, the number of cases of infertility actually is going up. He encourages couples to talk with their doctors or seek out a specialist if they are struggling to conceive.